One of the lessons I've learned in my involvement with VPI, the corporate practice consolidator I helped to launch in the late 1990s, was the importance of focus in building a successful business. In the event, our business was not a great success, and I'm bound to admit that during my career in this profession of ours, focus has not been one of my strong points. Uh, Peter, one of my fellow graduates from the Royal Veterinary College way back in 1960, and who's remained a very good friend ever since. He's retired now after a very successful career in the pharmaceutical industry. But I remember talking to him a good few years ago, and he said to me, John, your big problem is that you're not focused enough. And he was absolutely right. I've enjoyed a wonderful career in my profession, first as a clinician in practice, then as a practice owner and part-time veterinary politician with the BSAVA and BVA, then I discovered that my business model was a vestigial franchise arrangement, so I had to learn about franchising. My management consultancy kept me very busy traveling back and forth to the US. And then in 1979, I was invited to stand for election as a county councillor and got heavily involved in local party politics for 19 years or thereabouts. I helped launch the VPMA in the early 1990s, invested in VPI, then returned to consultancy, managing veterinary business, my membership website, and presenting the video show. So maybe it's not surprising that I haven't been focused when there are so many exciting career opportunities for somebody like you or me with a veterinary degree. Peter was right. Focus is clearly not one of my strengths, except perhaps in one respect. As a practice owner, I learned that when I was working as a clinician, and in effect wearing my metaphorical clinical hat, I knew I had to concentrate all my efforts on the clinical job in hand. But when I was discussing or planning business issues, I had to take off my clinical hat, forget that I was a veterinary employee in the business I owned, put on a business investor hat, consider exclusively the needs of the business and not be diverted by the possible impact that my business decisions may have had on my role as an employee. That's exactly what consultants mean when they advise practice owners to spend time working on the business rather than as a clinician in their business. Sometimes you have to find a solution to a business problem wearing your business hat, then swap hats, decide what terms of employment you need as an employee in your own business, then swap hats again to find a business way to achieve your requirements as an employee whilst maintaining your strategic plan for the business. So if you're thinking about the way ahead for your practice, the first and perhaps the most important question is, what hat are you wearing today? See you next time.